Sylvia writes, Dear Mary, I have five children who seem to think I'm either too old or too stupid to make my own decisions. They come in and move things around and make arrangements without even discussing it with me. When we are all here, no one talks to me, just around me. I am still their mother and deserve a little respect. How can I put my foot down without alienating them entirely? Oh, Sylvia, I've heard this scenario before. I think you should say something like this. Children, may I have your attention. You seem to think I'm unequal to the task of living my own life, but I want to tell you that I haven't made a stupid decision since your father and I agreed that it would be fun to have child number five. The furniture is placed the way it is to cover the patch of carpeting that child number two set on fire when he knocked over his birthday cake when he was 19 and also to cover the wine stain that child number three and her friends made when they tried to hide the bottle when I caught them drinking Merlot during the spring break, their sophomore year in high school. And children, let us remember that there is a will, and you would be wise not to irritate the person who can change the will at a moment's notice. Thank you for your kind attention. Now, if you know what's good for you, you'll put that chair back where it was. <laughs>